All right, my beautiful friends. Today, yet again, we got to witness a crime in progress, and, and we need to talk about that. Um, it's just too much, sincerely. All right, it is uh, Wednesday, March 13th, 2019. So let's talk about this market here. Uh, the high of the day regarding the Dow Jones Industrial Average was about 220 points to the good. Boeing was catching a really nice bid. Then what happened? Well, finally, and we're going to talk more about this in a second, um, the president announced that he was grounding all of the Boeing 737 MAX 8s. All of a sudden, the stock reversed, uh, was negative by about 3%, pulled the entire market with it. Again, Dow Jones Industrial Average was up about 220. We went flat. And then I posted. I said, watch for the market to rip higher towards the end of the day. Well, we ended up 150 points to the good, so no shock there. I actually added to my uh, calls on SPY. Which, why, which I posted all over my social networks this morning. I'm still waiting on IWM, which I spoke about earlier, but I did buy calls um, earlier today, I added to them when the, when the market dropped. Okay, so let's talk about the crime in progress and the real reason behind what happened today. We all understand that a massive effort was, going, was taking place to protect Boeing stock it's bigger than that as well. And we've seen this before. This is why it shouldn't be a secret to anyone watching this, especially if you live through the financial crisis of 2008 because the same games were being played then. Let me elaborate a little further. So country after country after country is grounding the plane. Everyone is saying, what's going on here? Why are we grounding the plane? What's, what's really happening? It was pretty simple. Again, it was about protecting the stock. Not only protecting the stock, it was giving the investment banks, the hedge funds, the time they needed to get ready to set up a short position. They were getting people to get in here, the average guy, the average girl, trying to bargain hunt, buying the dip. Okay, That's what was going on here. Pushing Boeing back off of the lows. When they were ready, as they usually do, they pull the plug. What people don't understand is when Boeing took that hit midday, okay, going from positive several percent, two percent, I think, to negative three, an insane amount of cash was made in a very short period of time by those that were short the stock. Then what happened? Stock rebounded. It's always the same story. So this is politics and Wall Street rigging the game yet again for their own benefit, period. So it should not have been any surprise why the stock was being propped up, why the, the FAA and the current administration were the last to say, hey, you know what, let's ground planes. It was a setup. It's always a setup, just like the middle class is getting set up to be destroyed, uh, systematically wiped out. You know that. Look at the game that is being played. We have, again, let's talk about the bond market. It's unbelievable. Um, so bonds are being bought up. So you got a rally here in the bond market, forcing the inversion of the yield curve that we have. The whole center is inverted. When bonds are bought up, yields drop. Understand? So we have a bond market rally and a stock market rally. It's not normal. Not normal in this environment, but that's the setup here. Weaker dollar. The dollar must be kept under pressure because, again, <laughs> the weaker dollar is, uh, is stock market positive for companies that trade overseas because of the exchange rate. Understand? This is so easy, in my view, to just if you have one eye open and just a couple of functioning brain cells, you can see how this is set up. It is the biggest twisted game in the history of the world. And people should be up and arms, but they're not going to be. Let me tell you the next phase of how this is going to play out. It's very simple to understand. We know what they're going to do before they do it. Whatever really happened with these aircrafts that finally were grounded by the president and the FAA, okay, um, 
It's going to be covered up. It's going to be spun. The stock will still be protected. What will happen in the not so distant future, mark my words, Boeing stock is going to rebound very sharply. Uh, and again, what is that? Why? Um, these same entities that got short are going to start buying it up. It's a setup again for some to benefit while some get crushed on the other side. Um, look, I don't give a damn anymore. Will I be on that trade when it goes higher? Of course I will. I will not be fleeced. Neither will you. And I can promise you that I will post on my social networks. Follow me on Twitter at least. Okay, if you're really looking to beat this market, I post what I'm doing all day long on Twitter. Facebook is a pain in the rear for me lately. They won't let me post certain things. So Facebook, we all know what's going on over there. Uh, Twitter as of yet, although from time to time run into an issue with Twitter, for the most part, they allow me to post what I want. Um, so, and on my blogs too, I post here, but it's very hard to read the comments. So follow me on Twitter. I'll tell you what I'm doing, when I'm doing it. We're not going to lose. I'm not going to let that happen. Forget about it. People out here outside my freaking window, they're going to be sheared beyond belief. That is not going to happen to me and is not going to happen to you. Um, they're going to play their terrible game and we are going to play the opposite side of that. Just like everything else in, in nature and everywhere, there has to be a balance. You know what? You and I are going to be on the other side as this balance is out. I can promise you that. All right, with that said, I hope this gives you just a glimpse into how rigged this is. Really, honestly, before I let you go, any surprise to you why the FAA and the current administration were the last to say, hey, you know what? Maybe we should ground these planes. Everyone's doing it. Boom, 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 boom. It was a waiting game. It was a waiting game. Just like how President Trump called Boeing yesterday to get their approval that the planes were still safe. This was just yesterday, but they're not safe today. You know that. You know, just as he called their, the Boeing CEO, don't you realize that the same freaking six banks that Mnuchin is colluding with were doing the same thing, getting ready to short the stock? <laughs> oh my God. If you don't see how this is being played on you, you are blind, more than likely willfully blind, and that's very sad because you are going to suffer more than anyone else when this thing comes down. Either you capitalize on this or you lay down and be sheared. If that's you, you're on the wrong channel. Go subscribe to somebody else because uh, I'm not letting anybody here lose, period. All right, I'll see you in the morning.